Hey, what's going on guys? Log.zip here. Minecraft could use some more utilities, because right now there's lots of things in the game that are a little bit frustrating. Including all these stupid mobs, would you shut up already? I'm trying to do a review! Ah, oh, much better. As you can see here, we have eight awesome utilities for your Minecraft world that you can add that will change the way you play this game, whether it's a sound muffler, a weather controlling machine, that's right, literally a weather controlling machine, armor stand modifications, the ultimate growth of bone sapling supplies, and everything else. And all it takes is only one command, yeah. Welcome back to Only One Command Minecraft Redstone Series where I showcase to you amazing command block creations that only take one command to add to you Minecraft vanilla worlds. And in this case, we have eight extra utilities that only take one command it is by the red engineer and it is going to change how you play minecraft seriously we're going to cover all these different things right now but i need to know my friends if you want to see more only one command on the channel please do drop a like rating on this video right now if we can break 3,000 likes then i will make sure to bring another only one command to you and the channel as soon as possible make sure you subscribe to see it right as it comes out as well and with that it is time to show you all eight different features that the extra utilities command will add to your minecraft world let's begin so if you want to add extra utilities to your world, you're going to need to do the following. Give yourself a command block, slash, give, at, p, c, o, m, press tab, then press enter on your keyboard, place that baby down, and then in the description of this video, you can find a link to the Red Engineer's channel, which will take you to the command that you need, which you'll paste right in here, then you click always active, then you click done, and behold, as it fills your world with command blocks all over the place, extra utilities in Minecraft by the Red Engineer. Check out his channel linked in the description of this video as well. Now that we got that installed, we can actually show you some of the different utilities that we were talking about. There are a total of eight, and what we have right in front of us is an obstacle course that will showcase each and every one, including, ooh, what could that one be for? <laughs> Let's find out, huh? First one is going to be amazing. You ever wanted to get barriers in your Minecraft world? You can't even get them in creative mode. You literally have to do slash give at P, and then you type in barrier in order to get barriers, and you'll see the barriers are everywhere in here. Well, there's a reason for it, friend. You can now make them with a crafting recipe. All you need in order to make a berry is the following obsidian ooh, and glass drop those two babies together on the ground and you will get yourself a total of four barrier blocks fantastic and you can actually place these things down in creative mode so you can do amazing things with all your barrier blocks whether it's uh, sand and things of that nature that don't fall vines that are placed on seemingly nothing floating cows naturally torches that look like they're just sitting in thin air you can put armor stands in the air you can do it all baby redstone that looks like it's sitting on nothing we can even see the underside of some repeaters look at that thing that looks weird now you all you do is is place it down like this you see bada boom bada bing and as you can tell in survival mode you can kind of make out the little barrier that shows off uh, the barrier <laughs> but if you want to get rid of barrier blocks we have a little bit of an issue you can't actually break barrier blocks normally in survival mode so what we have here is another crafting recipe and this is how you will remove barriers all you need is an obsidian and one TNT dropped on the ground placed together for your barrier breaker and as you can see here whenever you place a barrier breaker down it will remove nearby barriers all of a sudden all these great things well it just doesn't make any sense they're all hanging on the ground you see not gonna happen cows uh-uh not gonna happen y'all can fall stupid they get four of each per recipe so use those to make some serious decorations in your survival worlds that is the first utility and if i could just get out of here that'd be extremely useful thank you so much we're just gonna leave the vines there <laughs> do it for the vine wait a second didn't that app like close down or something anyways up next we have an amazing utility and as we get closer you'll kind of see what the issue is here do you hear this listen uh, they just won't shut up! As you can see, I ain't gonna deal with that anymore. Uh-uh, we got ourselves the sound muffler, another recipe. All you need here is a note block and, oddly enough, a barrier block, which means in order to make this, you're gonna need to use the original barrier recipe that we were just looking at over there. Drop those two babies on the ground and you will get yourself a muffler. This is amazing. Do you hear all these mobs around me right now? Do you hear them? Well, not for long. so many mobs however for whatever reason if you wanted to hear all the sounds of the mobs again it is quite simple all you need to do is actually break the sound muffler again and you will be greeted 
with way too many noises. Right, so this next one, super exciting. Weather control, yes. You ever want to control weather in Minecraft? Now you literally can. With the weather control, yeah. All right, so what we need for the weather control is actually a fairly expensive recipe. You're gonna need a nether star, and you're gonna need a cauldron. Now I can only assume you need the nether star because you know when you fight the weather, the sky turns like all nasty color. Clearly the, the, the wither knows how to control the weather. The wither weather, yeah, get it? So, you try, I'm, I'm worse. Drop the nether star on the ground along with the cauldron, get yourself a weather controller. The moment you place this baby down, well, I'll show you, you got a fantastic looking model for it. Look at this. It's beaming up all the weather information it needs all the way up into the sky. Don't ask why, don't ask how. All you need to know is that your weather machine will occasionally pulse back and forth to send the signal. And if you want to change the weather at any time, all you need to do is the following. Either have a regular water bucket or a regular old empty bucket on hand. Now, in order for this to work, probably we're gonna go to game mode zero. We're gonna fill this cauldron with water. And look what happens. Rain. Instant rain. Yes. So, you can use this if you need rain for whatever reason. It's actually quite useful. Did you know when you fish in the rain, it's like it works twice as fast. You get fish twice as fast in there. True story, real thing. <laughs> now, if at any point you wanted to get rid of the rain, you could actually just remove the water from the cauldron and the weather will start to clear up instantly. Fantastic. You want to get rid of your weather controller anytime all you have to do is break it. You get the egg back similar to how the other contraptions have been working thus far. But as you can see, it is an instant change. Rain to regular to rain to regular. And one really cool fact is if you use a weather controller in your spawn chunks, you know what the spawn chunks are? It's basically where you start your spawn in in the world. If you put the weather controller in your spawn chunks and you leave it with water in the cauldron, it will never, ever, ever, ever stop raining. Same with if you leave a weather controller in your spawn chunks with no water in the cauldron. It will never ever, ever, ever rain either. So, if you don't want rain, put this in one of your spawn chunks. If you want the weather to change, but you don't want it to be stuck in the spawn chunks, you can actually just put this wherever in your world, and as long as the chunk is loaded, whether it has water or not will determine if there's rain. If we were to go out of distance of this and it wasn't in our spawn chunks, the rain would, well, it would go back to normal weather control. So, the weather controller. Not bad, well, I'm curious about this. Now, if we, if we go in here, will we get teleported? Ooh. Maybe not. We're just in a in another dimension. <laughs> X Files music. Do 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 do. Alright, I'm done. This next one's gonna be useful for all the green thumbs out there. It is the growth bomb. Use this to gain three inches to your height instantly. Hey, I'm a little short. I, I, I like to be tall. Just kidding. You use it for crops. We got a nice field here filled with crops that have not fully grown as well as some saplings dispersed here and there as well. This one is super simple. All you need is five bone blocks in a stack. And if you were to stand in the middle of your crop field, witness. You drop all five at once. You actually can't pick them up anymore once you do that. The entire area of land around you will begin growing trees, crops, and everything else at an extremely quickly rate. The bone growth itself will last a total of 30 seconds, and once you drop all five bone blocks on the ground, you actually cannot pick them up. But look at this, literally everywhere we're walking around, the crops have instantly grown. Could you imagine? Endless wheat, endless carrots, endless patats. It actually also works for the nether wart. It works for pretty much anything that can grow. You'll get your crops instantly, and the moment the 30 seconds has worn off, well, your unfortunate demise of the bone blocks will be imminent. As you can see there, they just disappeared, but not before completely fertilizing all the land. In fact, now, now let me see, did it get everywhere? Because this is a huge, look at this, it literally grew all the crops everywhere, everywhere that had seeds grew. It's not even a certain area effect. Literally, wherever you place down the bone growth, all loaded chunks that have crops in them, or saplings, or what have you, they will all grow. It does not matter if they're not right next to the bone blocks, you will still get a full field of wheat. Not bad. Kind of hungry. Now this next one we got here is all about Armistice. Uh, uh, what? Huh? What's going on? I'm just kidding. It's quicksand, or in this case, it's quick coarse dirt. Similar to the traps command we covered in a previous video. If you want to check out more about that, you can click the little eye in the corner right now. Ooh, worst guy. <laughs> Actually, I'm the best. All you need for quicksand is going to be cobwebs and either coarse dirt, 
sand, or gravel. Once you've picked up those three blocks, all you need to do in order to make yourself your very own quicksand trap is actually just place some cobwebs down, and then on top of the cobwebs, you will place down either sand, you'll place down either that, you'll place down gravel, or you'll place down coarse dirt, and you will start sinking instantly. The way it works is a teleport command that is relatively teleporting into the quicksand. And like I said, not only that, but it'll work with your dirt and your gravel. If you happen to die in this, though, you'll see items do not sink. They won't sink in the ground. Even though you're sinking, they will still be stuck on top. So you can use this as a trap or as a way to capture mobs without losing the drops. Very useful. Now, <laughs> we can actually get down to the real armor stance thing I was telling you about a second ago. Armor stance have gotten a buff in the extra utilities command as well. We've got a whole mess of things that we're going to start decorating all these armor stands right over here with before we show you some of the features. Isn't that right, Mr. Glitch Armor Man? Seriously, what's wrong with you? You're twitching like a madman. <laughs> what we have over here are all the different armor stands, and as you can see, we could choose to decorate them if we want to. For the time being, though, I'm going to show you ways you can just simply modify each armor stand. First of all, the base plate. No one likes the base plate. I mean, I'm all about that base, but definitely not all about the base plate. If you want to get rid of the base plate at any time, all you need to do is take a barrier block, which you made from... I fell. Which you made from the previous crafting recipe over there using obsidian and using glass, and throw it at the base of an armor stand and it will get rid of the base of the armor stand, the base plate. If you want that back at any moment, you just need a... I keep falling! Ugh, jeez! <laughs> Worst guy, anger management. All you need to do is the stone slab, you throw that right down there again and you will get your base plate back. Do note that you will lose your stone slab if you throw it at the armor stand. However, if you were to throw your barrier, you won't actually lose that and you can claim it back at a moment's notice. Do keep in mind, even if it has a base plate, you can drop it again and it will still eat your stone slab. Over here, we've got arm additions. All you need to do for the arms is throw two sticks at your armor stand, and it will actually get arms that you can use to equip the things with swords and shields and things of that nature. Anything you can hold in your hand, you can actually give to the armor stand. Now, finally, the rotation, which you see over here. It's a little bit finicky, a little bit fidgety. Don't worry about it. All you need for that is one single piston, and it will start to rotate the armor stand. You can actually combine these together, so I could get rid of the base plate, and if I so wished, I could also give this thing a set of arms, too. Now you got a rotating... <laughs> what, seriously, what's wrong with this thing? Let's go ahead and deck out all these different armor pieces, huh? We're gonna get... Mmm, we got red versus blue. Let's do... Mmm, -hmm. well, first of all, hold, hold on a sec. Throw some armor on these guys, or throw some chest plates on these guys, give them a couple gold. Oh, you know, just equipping my entire army. We've got the archers versus the warriors over here. Again, we still need to slowly equip them all. I'll be done in a second. Check this out. Yo, honestly, who would win, the archers? Or the warriors in the comments if you want <laughs> let's make them all spin I'm just gonna start dropping pistons all over the place just see what happens <laughs> nice best day of my life now you see they didn't want to fight it's a dance party look at this this is what I'm talking about all together except this one he doesn't like to dance well you know what you don't get to come to the party Actually, none of them do. I'm gonna kill them all right now. I win. Red versus blue, more like red and blue versus no chance against me. Like that's it. And welcome back to all. I'm just kidding. Two more things to show you. This one is the advanced elytra. Now, if you didn't know, this command actually came out before Minecraft 1.11.2, aka elytra plus fireworks. You can do that now. However, if you don't want to do that and you'd rather use instead of gunpowder and paper coal as fuel, you can make yourself an advanced elytra. All you need to do is take an elytra and literally on an anvil add to the front of it the, the word advanced. Advanced, I can't spell. Advanced elytra. And just like that, your elytra is pretty much ready for flight. We're gonna go ahead and switch into game mode zero right now. As you can see, we've got the elytra on, looking real fresh, funky fresh, oh you know. And right here we've got ourselves our fuel, blocks of coal. If you drop one block of coal while swearing your advanced elytra, you'll get a little message. 30 seconds of thrust power. Every time you use up a block of coal, you get 30 seconds of thrust power. What is thrust power? Well, when you've got your advanced elytra on and you sneak, you get boosted into the air. And you get 30 seconds worth of this if you decide you want to use it. Now, be careful, because if you happen to use your boost power without using your elytra and you hit the ground, you will actually be killed and you will die. <laughs> well, that usually happens when you get killed. Alternatively, if you throw an entire stack at once, well, nothing happens. You just have to drop them one at a time. But you can continuously stack 
so many of these things together that it's really not. I mean, really, you ready for this? And look at this sweet effect. It literally looks like a cool little jetpack. And you can use this. Gosh, you can use this a lot. All you need is nine coal, and you get 30 seconds of flight. We've only been flying up for about 10 seconds here, but look how high up we are. And from here, you, know, you literally can't even see me. That's how high up we are. All you need from here is to just bust out the Elytra, and you suddenly have pretty much a working jetpack. Now, keep in mind, you cannot add fuel while you're in the air. It will just, oh, well, maybe I'm wrong. I tried dropping it a second ago, it didn't work. It looks like you can basically add infinite thrust power whilst you are flying, as long as you drop it and it lands pretty much on your person whilst you messing around with that Elytra, baby. Look at this, so much fun. Little obstacle course, don't mind if I. Actually, where's the next one? It looks like it's right over here. Now again, compared to jetpacks, it's a little more limited, but it is just a different type of fuel source. So you can use these again in conjunction with each other. Ain't no thing, look at that, yeah. And we are just gonna poo. Look at that! So cool! We've got some rockets right here to kind of compare the two next to each other. Not gonna be much of a comparison. Again, you can pretty much only use the coal to get yourself a serious boost. Once you get the boost, you can pretty much use the, the fireworks from there. Because look, we're super high up in the air. It's good. Great way to gain some initial height because, you know, a firework might take a couple more gunpowders than this. But once you're in the air, you can just go ahead and just take it from the fireworks from there. It's going to be a lot faster. But all the same, if you don't have fireworks or you'd rather just use coal, you got a whole bunch of coal in your reserves, you can now just do that instead. So with that, our final contraption, the final extra utility. You're probably wondering what it is. Well, allow me to show you. We're gonna dive bomb right over to the area where we need it. Except I didn't dive bomb. I survived and I gracefully landed. <laughs> Oop, <laughs> forgot. We still have the boost. Now, you won't be able to use your sneak, by the way, for the Elytra if you're not wearing the Elytra. So, needless to say, you won't have to worry about expending coal unless you're wearing the thing. We see, big old difference. The final utility, graves, yes. We're gonna go ahead and set our spawn right here. We're gonna turn off keep inventory and then we're gonna kill ourselves. Press the button. We've died. All of our items are gone instantly. Well, where'd they go? They're right here in this fancy little grave. Look at this, it's so cute. And it's using armor stand models. So this is not a block model. You do not need a resource pack for this, which also means that if you are using a custom resource pack, it will actually take on the same models that the resource Resource packs, dirt, and signs, and all that, etc. Use now. Where are the items you say, and how do we get this? Well, all you need to do is find your grave in world wherever you died and sneak right next to it. The moment you sneak, you'll get all of your items back right away. The best part about this utility is most items will only last for five minutes on the ground. So if you are five minutes wasted away, you will not be able to get your items. However, with the grave, it will store your items indefinitely. An amazing feature for deaths. I happen to die a lot. This is gonna prove extremely useful for me. All the same though, my friends, that is gonna do it for all the different extra utilities that you've seen in this only one command. Hey, going crazy, literally losing my mind. If you enjoy this only one command, make sure you check it out in the description of this video. And while you're at it, make sure you check out the Red Engineers channel as well. Everything's gonna be linked right there. If you wanna see more only one commands on the channel, please do drop a like rating on this video right now. Like I said, if we can break past 3,000 likes for this only one command, ooh, nice. Nice combined, I forgot. Then we will make sure to get you another Only One Command ASAP. Make sure you subscribe so you see it right as it comes out as well. And I have died. <laughs> we'll see you later.